Hello and welcome back to this channel. So this tutorial is going to be about intertwining text. That is what I mean by that is we'll have some element or some artwork which goes inside and outside or behind and front of text. But since it's going to be boring to just create this one, we're going to go ahead and step up a little bit and actually create a background as well to create this artwork. So let's just get started. I'm going to go ahead and choose a small postcard. If you cannot see it, go to custom size and you can go to print and you'll see something called a small postcard. Just click on that. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring in our sketch and the color palette. You can find the link to download these things in the description box below. Once you have the sketch, click on done and go to your levels, decrease the opacity and make sure it's multiply. Once you get the color, let's go ahead and choose each color by clicking and holding on it and make a mark on your artboard. Once you're done, you can clear the layer which has or the delete the layer which has the marks and hide the layer with the color palette. Okay, so now let's just get started. I have all my colors in my color palette, but I brought in some extra colors as well, just so that uh, it'll be very helpful when drawing this thing. So let me uncheck this. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and draw the three leaves that we see here in the background. So let's do that. Click on new layer and make sure you bring it below the layer, which has all the, you know, your sketch. And then let's go to the selection tool. That is, you can click on it and make sure you're in this selection mode. And now instead of drawing the whole thing like that, we're going to go ahead and draw it in a way, in a way that you'll create some ridges like this. You can stop your brush and pick it up again. It does not matter so much. And we'll select more and not just one leaf. I'm using the sketch just as a guide and I'm not following it like, you know, drawing right on the line. It's okay to, you know, go outside the line a little bit or inside the line. It doesn't matter. So once you have that, we'll go to our watercolor brushes. That is watercolor and watercolor wash flat. And this one, I'm going to keep it at high. That is 512. And I will choose for this uh, something like this color. It's like a yellowish green. And now let's go ahead and draw this. So I'm just going to put this yellowish green on this side and I'm going to do that same here as well a little darker if you press it the color gets a little darker and let's do that and now let's go to the lighter green that we have here and I'm going to put it on the other corner like that and as you can see they start blending which is really good and I'm going to go ahead and choose a little darker color and bring in the brush a little bit down about 300 or something because i don't want to accidentally color this side add a little bit of a pop of color here okay and now let's go to white and reduce this to about 150 maybe and i'm going to uh, this one and i'm going to add a little bit of white right here do you see it creates a little bit of a whitish texture, which is actually good. We want that. And make sure it blends. That looks good. And now if you deselect it, you can see that you have the leaf layer, but I'm not going to deselect it. You can use your two finger tap to undo your selection or deselection or any action. And you can use these two things over here as well. So once you have it, click on a new layer and I'm going to create a clipping mask now and go to your brushes, pixel brushes. And in here, if you go into painting, you'll see something called that Cezanne one. And we're going to use that for adding texture. So click on that. And in here, let's go ahead and choose the dark green that we had. That is the one which we gave for the edges. And I'm going to go ahead and add some texture. As you can see, I've kept it at 402. You can keep it at any size you want. And add some texture here and there. Like that. Don't overdo it with a lot of texture. It should be very subtle. Uh, a little bit of texture here and there, but definitely not a lot. So once you've added that, it's time to add some finer details. So let's click on the color again. And in here, I'll choose this this green that is like really really right but i have to choose a different brush and for that i'm going to go back here and choose the ink brushes and go to belgian comics 
and this one is set to about 76 and I think that should be good. So I'm just going to go ahead and draw some lines like this. If the sketch is bothering you, go ahead and uncheck it. Go back to your clipping mask layer and go ahead and do this. Okay, so that looks good. And now you can actually go ahead and deselect it. So that is ready as well. So now let's click on a new layer and we're going to draw the other set of leaves. So make sure you turn your um, sketch layer on, go back to the original layer, go back to the selection tool and we'll draw the leaf which is in the bottom first. So I think I'll take the one on the left as the bottom leaf and I'm going to draw a heart shape. So once you're done with that, you can go ahead and uncheck the sketch if you want. That is if it bothers you a lot. I'm going to uncheck this layer as well so that I can show you what I'm doing. You don't really have to do this, okay? And let's go back to the watercolor brush. And in here, we're going to select something, a, you know, a bluish green. And go to your layer and I'm going to draw something like that. But then again, I'm going to go to the lighter version of that and draw it here like this. But I'm not really happy with that, so I'm going to choose some white and add a bit of white here to this corner. And then I'll choose a little darker than what I had already and do this. So by the way, if you cannot figure out which colors to choose and if you have already in this color, for example, you can just drag it down a little bit and make it darker. You don't have to choose the exact same colors that I'm using, okay? And uh, let's make this a bit darker on this side, okay? That looks good. And now it's time to add texture to this. So you could do that later as well. So maybe we can do that later. But once you have this ready, let's click on a new layer and deselect this because we're going to make the second one now. Bring back your sketch layer so that you have an idea of where you're drawing. And let's draw this. We'll use the same technique. So go ahead to your dark color if you want or whatever. Go to your watercolor brush and let's do that here and the lighter one let it mix and then the more lighter one here obviously and now we can go to white and add a bit of white here especially this area make sure it's more whitish that's because it's overlapping and it'll be nice if you can show a subtle change in the i mean difference between the two layers otherwise they might not look good okay so this looks fine as well and now let's click on deselect so the first thing that you're going to do is go ahead and create some ridges on this leaf so go back to your eraser tool so i'll go to the first leaf that we created and i'm just going to go ahead and erase it off so i've kept it around 58 so change it if you feel like it's not comfortable Go to the next one and do this. Okay, that looks good. So now it's time to add some texture. So click on a new layer and click on clipping mask. And now we'll go to our brushes and under painting, you'll see something called Cezanne 1, the one which we used already. You can use that. And I've set it to 402 like earlier. Let's check if it looks good. Yeah, this should be fine. So I'm going to add some white to the corners here. I think I'll increase the size a bit, not so much, but 500 or so, not there. Yeah, that should be good. And I'll go and make sure you click on clipping mask. And I'll go to the next layer, click on new layer, clipping mask. And I'll add, this is too dark by the way. So just have to add it a little like that. But then again, I'll go back to this dark blue that I had and I'll add some textures here like that. especially here. This one as well. Okay, so that looks fine as well. And now let's go back to this clipping mask for this one. And I'm going to choose some uh, the lighter green that we have and go back to your Belgian brush and we'll draw some 
lines here. So for this, you have to follow the edge of the leaf so that you have this curved kind of a line. So we do the same thing here. Sorry, go to this clipping mask. Okay, and now let's go ahead and uncheck this layer. And once you do that, even the clipping mask comes off, okay? So, okay, that looks fine. And now it's time to add some text. So I'm going to go on top of all these layers and add a new layer. And let's go to the text tool and uh, click. And make sure you select white, otherwise you won't be able to see it. And in here, let's go ahead and type anything you want. So I didn't know what to type, so I just wrote green. Don't be unimaginative or uh, so uncreative like me. So go ahead and use some nice text. I'm going to double click it so that this gets selected. And I will be using a font called as uh, Futura Demi, I guess. Let me just quickly make sure that I have selected everything in caps or uppercase. So yeah, I've selected something called as Futura PT. So you can find them, I guess. If you don't, you can choose any font that is bold and big but the only thing you have to make sure is there's enough gap between the lines for example i could choose something like regular but then there's no gap between these e lines you know what i mean and over here as well in between r so that wouldn't look so great so this would look nice you can use any kind of font you want as long as there's enough space between the uh you know the i don't know what they call uh, the lines which form the alphabet okay and let's go back here and obviously increase the size. I'm going to bring it down here and increase, increase, increase. Let's go ahead and put it here. And now you can actually increase this size as well if you want a little bit. Don't overdo it. It's, you know, just a little bit. You don't really have to do it, but you can if you want. And once you're done, you can actually click there and now I'm going to click on this and click on duplicate layer. Now there are two layers with green and we're going to make a sandwich. So we're going to click on the lower green text layer, click on a new layer and let's bring back our text. Okay. And uh, okay, this is like really not visible, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uncheck all of these so that you know what's happening. And oh, let's make this layer some other color. So let's choose a red, just so that you can see this. Okay, so now you can see it, uh, but red is not a nice color. Let's make it yellow. Yeah, now you can clearly see what's happening. Okay, so I'm in between the two text layers, and now I'm going to go ahead and draw this uh, twine that we have. And for this, I'm going to use a vector brush, and I will just choose some normal uh, dark green here and just draw like this. So you can uncheck the top text layer so that you can see what you're drawing. Okay, once you're finished drawing, let's take the fill tool and just fill it in like this. You can uncheck the sketch layer and I think I'm going to delete the top text layer. I'll go back to this layer, the text layer and click on transform tool and I'll move it a little bit. And probably also increase the size a little bit. I don't know, let's see. Yeah, let's do that. Let's increase the size. So click on text layer and then go to properties and let's increase the size a little bit so that it's a bit bigger and goes like that. Okay, that looks good. So yeah, so make sure to adjust your font size depending on how this is going to look. And now let's go ahead and click on this and duplicate layer and bring this above the leaf layer and click on this and click to convert to vector layer. You can also do a pixel layer, it doesn't matter. Let's go to the eraser tool and make this a little bit tinier so that, you know, we know what we're doing. And now we're going to go ahead and erase the text. So what happens is because it's a sandwich and there's already a text behind here, 
if I erase something like this, it's just going to create an effect where it feels like the leaves are actually coming out of the text, something like this. Cool, isn't it? So I'm going to go ahead and do that here as well. Like that. So let's do the same thing here. I'm going to leave this E like that. And over here, probably draw it like this. Okay, you have to be careful when you're doing these things. For example, here, I just want this one to go up. No, so I'm just going to draw that. And obviously this one as well, because they're connected. Otherwise, they won't look good. And then here. And maybe just draw this. Okay, so now if you take a look, you can see that it's kind of going behind the text and forward the text and stuff like that. And that's what I was talking about. So make sure you draw your leaf layer really well. So I'm going to go back there and click on this and go to my vector brush and just try to make it really nice. Like I was very careless before and uh, I don't want to do that. And just make sure you draw in nice things. So you can adjust the brush size. It's at 8.5 now. And you can either increase or decrease it. I think that needs to be erased. So I'll just go back here and erase that. Okay. All right. So go ahead and fix all that. And now we're going to add some texture to this leaf layer. So click on a new layer and click on clipping mask. And now let's go ahead and choose something really dark. If you cannot see it here, you can just pull it down a bit. And let's go to our Cezanne brush that we had under painting. And I'm going to go ahead and add some textures like this. I'll reduce the size a little bit to about 300. That looks good. And now let's go ahead and bring in all our other layers. So this one, this one. So if you notice, you don't have to actually go ahead and uncheck the clipping mask. You just have to click the main layer and click on this eye button and then it shows up. So I'll remove the green now or let the green be there. I'm going to go ahead and color this now. And I'm going to click on a new layer because I don't want to use the green layer. It's a vector, so our pixels won't work. So I'm going to choose some really dark green, maybe this one go to a Cezanne one brush again and I've kept it around 600 or 700 or something like that maybe yeah this should be okay I guess but before that let's go ahead and fill it oh create a new layer and fill it with the pixel layer okay that looks good but we're going to add some texture so go back to the lighter green and we have chosen the Cezanne brush and I'm going to go ahead and add and as you can see when you do that it creates a little bit different shades as well which is like pretty cool right and uh, that's cool you can actually change it to lighter as well if you want I think I'll choose a little darker because I like the darker variant of colors I like it when the background is like really dark and stuff like that but now let's go back to the text layer and I feel like the green is not highlighted enough, you know. So I'm going to go to the text layer, click on a new layer and bring it below the text layer. So this is the bottom text that I'm talking about. So I'll go back here and maybe go into um, basic and soft round opacity and the black or the darker color is chosen. So I'm just going to go ahead and as you can see, it's at 176 and go ahead and add a bit of shadow right around the alphabet so that now it looks like the green is a bit more popping it looks much better now and then what we can do is we have to add some stocks to these leaves so let's go back here click on a new layer you can bring it down here and remove the clipping mask let's go back to our selection tool and draw this go to your watercolor brush you can go ahead and choose this color a dark color anything you want actually and let's just draw that and make sure you come here use your eraser tool and erase it off a little bit here I know you cannot see it but show you and deselect 
And once you're done, your artwork should look like this. I'm going to go back here to the clipping mask because I'm not really happy with how light this is. So let's go ahead and choose the dark one. And obviously it is on. You can actually add everything to your favorites. So it's much easier to actually pick from here. And add something like that. Okay, so once you're here, if you feel like, oh, I can't see anything here, it's so dark. You can just go back to that layer, click on that and mask layer contents and swipe and add a little bit of, you know, let's go back to the watercolor brush and add a little bit of, you know, a bit of water to make it a bit lighter like that so that your leaves kind of pop. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this tutorial and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you get notified every time I post a new video. I guess I'll see you in the next video then. Bye-bye.